Hey everybody, Guy in the Cemetery here. Uh, we are middle of November, it's cold, it's getting colder, it's supposed to snow this weekend, uh, but I wanted to get a video in this week. And uh, so yeah, we're at a undisclosed location today. Uh, I'll do another video on this location and name it eventually, but this is gonna be a short video, so. Uh, just taking a quick walk around so you can see some of the leaves so you can see uh, you know decay the earth is shutting down for the winter and uh, so are the cemeteries also I have a little bit of news today so we're gonna go over that here shortly that's it Hey everybody, guy in a cemetery. Actually, right now it's guy in a car in a cemetery. So, I'm not gonna change the titles for that though. So you're just gonna have to deal with it. So I'm actually in my car, cause it's cold. It's getting really cold outside and the wind's blowing. So it's gonna be a little harder to hear me today. So I figured I'd get in my car, drink my coffee and uh, read some news to you. Um, I'm gonna start doing some different stuff from time to time. Uh, I know you guys are my fellow misfits, uh, my fellow cemetery wanderers, and I really appreciate you that you're out out there, uh, and and that you're watching and you're responding to the videos. You like the videos, you're subscribing, so that's good. I want to find more of you people uh, because I feel like you're all kindred spirits. So welcome um, yeah so some of the news I'm gonna read today uh, just stuff I've come across that sort of goes along with the things we're interested in I guess um, so this first story is from the hill uh, the headline is widow horrified when husband's under or when husband's body undergoes public autopsy um, it says, as far as I'm concerned, it's horrible, unethical, and I just don't have the words to describe it, Elsie Saunders said. The body of a war veteran who died of COVID this summer was dissected in front of a live audience last month without consent from his widow. Uh, it says, when David Saunders, who served in World War II and the Korean War, died in August of 98, his wife, Elsie Saunders, carried out his wishes by donating his body to scientific research. But rather than a medical facility taking Saunders' body, uh, it ended up in a hotel ballroom in Portland, Oregon. 
uh, where it was dissected in front of a paying audience without Elsie Saunders knowledge Elsie is uh, David Saunders wife says spectators of the live autopsy held by deathscience.org paid up to five hundred dollars um, a ticket to attend the session which was promoted on social media as a collaboration with the oddities and curiosities expo and I've actually been to this uh, uh, when it came through Indianapolis one time a couple years ago so it's, it's a cool thing but uh, yeah this is not something I knew that they uh, that they did uh, it goes on to say uh, the oddities and curiosities expo a touring exposition attracting lovers of the strange unusual and bizarre that's us uh, said in a statement that its only role in the incident had been providing a ticketing platform for death science and it made no profit from the demonstration uh, the cadavers class the cadaver class has never been a part of the traveling expo it said we were aware that this demonstration was happening at a different location with a different company and we were of the understanding that it was intended to be educational in nature um, yeah so that's pretty crazy uh, didn't even I thought he was going to like uh, medical research when you know when you donate your body you think you're gonna go to like a college or medical school something like that maybe a mortuary school but uh, yeah I bet you don't imagine that you're gonna end up being dissected in in front of a bunch of gothic kids uh, so that's kind of uh, yeah, that's not good you know if you consented to be dissected in front of these people that would be a different thing but um, finishing up this it says Saunders had donated her husband's body to the private ed, private company med ed labs which says on its website that it was established to provide medical and surgical education and training for the advancement of medical and surgical innovation so yeah that's not good uh, let's see what else we got here what's everybody's favorite uh, drink when it gets cold tea coffee what are you people tea or coffee drinkers that's what I want to know I drink lots of coffee lots and lots of coffee uh, all right this next story is uh, widowers call after wife's grave is damaged by badgers <laughs> Uh, a widower has spoken of his devastation after his wife's grave was damaged by foraging badgers. Uh, John Richardson, whose wife has been laid to rest in Tweedmouth Cemetery, is calling for the animals to be relocated, but has stressed it must be done in the right way. Um, the presence of badgers in the cemetery has caused a great concern. North Con North Cumberland Council announced last month that it appointed environmental experts to undertake survey work in support of an application to Natural England to relocate the badger sets. I guess a set is like a group or a herd or something like that. Um, it says John's wife Sandra died on January 2nd this year after a long illness. He had visited her grave every day except when he was hospitalized with COVID. Uh, repairing it required uh, is required and it's going to take a lot of turf and uh, TLC it says. In addition to plastic netting it will need to be left on the grave until spring when it can be repaired properly. Uh, yeah so who knew badgers uh, digging up graves. A uh, mass grave of slaughtered crusaders discovered in Lebanon. This is uh, from Live Science by Ben Turner. It says their grisly remains show the ugly brutality of holy wars. Uh, Archaeolo ar archae uh, that's easy for you to say. Archaeologists digging near 
a Middle Eastern castle have unearthed two mass graves containing the grisly remains of Christian soldiers vanquished during the medieval crusades, and some of them could have easily been personally buried by a king. Um, says the chipped and charred bones of at least 25 young men and teenage boys were found inside a dry moat of the ruins of St. Louis Castle in Sidon, Lebanon. Radiocarbon data suggests that they were among the many Europeans who, between the 11th and 13th centuries, were spurred by priests to take up arms in a doomed effort to reconquer the Holy Land. Um, much like many who came to fight and plunder before them, the soldiers' long and arduous journeys ended with their deaths. Uh, Crusaders first cap captured St. Louis. <laughs> uh, Crusaders first captured St. Louis Castle after the first crusade in 1010, uh, 1110. The invaders held on to Sidon, a key strategic port, for more than a century. But historical records show that the castle fell after it was attacked and destroyed twice. The researchers said it's highly likely that the soldiers perished during one of these battles and by brutal means. Uh, the bones all bear stab and slice wounds from swords and axes, as well as evidence of blunt force trauma. The soldiers had more wounds on their backs than on their fronts, suggesting that many were attacked from behind, possibly as they fled during a rout and the distribution of these blows implies that their attackers charged them down on horseback. The bodies were later swept into a mass grave, possibly over royal intervention. A belt buckle found among the bones indicates that the soldiers were Frankish and hailed from the region that encompassed modern-day Belgium and France. The origin and the date they were killed suggests that the soldiers could have been buried by King Louis IV of France. So, yeah. So that's a little bit of news for today. Uh, seriously, guys, thank you for watching my videos. I'm really still trying to figure out what these videos are going to be, what I'm trying to accomplish with these videos. I don't really know. Um, I just... Uh, I have to do something with my time instead of paying attention to the news. It's such a freaking downer. All the news, uh, all the politics, that sort of thing. It's just, it's annoying me. So this is a way that's not work related. Uh, it's a way for me to, you know, uh, do something that I love, which I love making videos. And I love cemeteries. And I know you guys love it too. So. That's why I'm going to start making these videos, and if you guys have suggestions or comments, uh, please leave those below and like and subscribe. If you hate these videos, tell me why you hate them down in the comments. I have thick skin, and I can take it. Uh, you know, basically, I just want to communicate with you guys, uh, your fellow misfits, and uh, I like it. So, thanks for watching, guys. I said bye. Hey, bye.